Sarabi, the mother of Simba, mate of Mufasa and queen of the Pridelands. We all know who Sarabi is, but nobody knows what's her story, where does she come from and what happened to her after the Lion King won. Today I'm going to tell you her story. Sit back and relax, because this is going to be an adventure. This is Sarabi's story. A long time ago, there were two lions. First kings of a just founded pride. They called it the Dunia Pride. These two lions were called Chiapo and Achille, and as founders, they became the first king and queen of the Dunia Pride. This place was far away from what we now know as the Pride Lands, and was probably the safest pride to live in. Enemies didn't exist, hyenas were never seen there, and all the animals were living a peaceful and normal life. One day, Chiapo and Achille had a cub. This was the most important moment in the whole pride as it was the first descendant ever born. She was Sarabi. Sarabi was received with love by the inhabitants. She had all she needed as a cub and was going to be a queen one day in the future. A second cub was born, some years later from another couple of lions, and was called Sarafina. Sarabi and Serafina became friends almost instantly, as they were the only two cubs in the whole pride. But one night, without any warning or explanation, the pride was invaded by a flood of hyenas. The whole pride was fighting for their survival and defending their territory with their own lives. Sarabi and Serafina were told to stay in a hiding place, but things escalated and there was no chance for the pride. The queen came and told the two cubs to escape in order to find a safer place outside the pride. She promised Sarabi that she'll be fine and they'll meet again very soon. Sarabi, crying and trembling, took a deep breath and started running with her friend Sarafina, watching back from time to time to make sure she didn't get lost and head into nowhere, hoping to be lucky enough to find someone or something in the far lands that could help them. They went through the desert, stood for some days at the jungle and walked in the outskirts of the outlands. After weeks of searching for a home, they saw a land in the distance, full of animals and vegetation. It had all the characteristics of a pride, and these were the pride lands. They advanced through it and they saw a lion in the distance. He was playing in the grass and climbing trees. They slowly approached him, but the young lion saw the two lionesses far afield. He confusedly looked and started walking towards them. The two cubs were scared, but didn't want to look as a threat either to not be attacked. So they stood still. The young lion approached them and presented himself. He was Mufasa. Sarabi shyly asked him if they could stay in the pride. Mufasa motioned them to follow him. He was going to ask to his father, the King Ahadi. Sarabi and Serafina told the king what happened and why they had to escape from their pride. Ahadi listened and, seeing the innocence in their eyes, welcomed them to the pride lands. From then on, Sarabi and Serafina grew in the Pridelands with the help of Ahadi and Uru. Mufasa and Sarabi developed a connection and a strong friendship that grew stronger during the years. And eventually, one day in their adolescence, that strong connection became love. What Mufasa didn't know is that his brother Scar was really jealous because he also liked Sarabi and could not accept the fact that she and Mufasa were now a couple. This will lead Scar to hate his brother even more than he did before. 
In the meanwhile, Serafina knew another lion who later on became her mate. He is who we today know as Nada's father. Sarabi and Mufasa grew together and learned from each other. And one day, in their young adulthood, they took the place of king and queen of the Bridelands. After this, Scar completely isolated himself to just live in the dark and, trying to suppress his envy for Mufasa and achieve some power, he relied on hyenas and became their leader, hoping that, one day, he will finally replace his brother. Few months later, Mufasa and Sarabi's first cub was born. He was Simba, the future king of the Pridelands. As Simba grew, Sarabi was always there for him, helping him in his most difficult moments and teaching him the same things that she learned as a cub. The friendship between Sarabi and Serafina remained the same during the years, as she also became mother and gave birth to Nala, the future mate and throne companion of Simba. This peace and lack of problems was maintained till one day, the day of Mufasa's death. That same day Simba disappeared. Scar lied to Serafina and the whole pride and took the throne to replace Mufasa and become the new king. Sarabi knew what was coming. Those were going to be the deepest and darkest years of the Brightlands. But she never submitted herself to Scar's tyranny. Sarabi didn't give up that day and searched for Simba for months along with Serafina till it was impossible to move inside and outside the territory without being spotted by Scar or the hyenas. Simba was now considered dead. As the years passed, the Pride Lands declined to what the Dunia Pride, birthplace of Sarabi, became after the invasion, with the difference that this time it was impossible to escape and even if she could, as original queen of the Pridelands, she wouldn't have abandoned her people to their fate. By Sarabi's perspective, the hope was never lost, and she always stood up for what was right, also if it became an endless war between good and evil. Along with her friend Serafina, she managed to always get food for the rest of the lionesses in the Pride. They passed the rest of their lives in this interminable and unfair tyranny. Sarabi, now old and weak, could not handle this anymore, even though she never surrendered, but it was impossible to deny that the Pridelands' fate was doomed. This, till the unexpected happened. Someone came from the dark borders of the Pride. He was Simba. Him who was believed to be dead or lost forever in the remotest lands. Sarabi, inside of her heart, she felt that this moment is what she's been waiting for this long, without even knowing. Now it was possible to reclaim the land and give back to nature its natural circle. The circle of life. Scar was defeated, and the land came back to what it was before. Simba and Nala had a daughter called Chiara, and Sarabi, Chiara's grandmother, could live her last moments in the land she always dreamed to see again, as well as know her granddaughter to see the circle of life do its cycle. Sarabi died some weeks later of old age. She died glad to have met her son again and knowing that the situation that tormented her and the inhabitants during several years was now solved. Every animal, every lion and every creature in the Pridelands could finally live a peaceful life again. This was my own fan-made story of Sarabi. I really hope you liked it, and if so, let me know in the comments 
or in my Discord server. I would like to know your opinion and your own version of this story. If you want more videos like this, let me know by leaving a like. I always appreciate it. I'm Ascari and I wish you a good night.